What's up, you survivalists? Keelan here with another first look review of uh, Survival Fountain of Youth. Um, as you may have guessed, it, it's a survival game and things are getting a bit choppy. <laughs> Goodness, it, it looks like it's based in the, in the, uh, what, the 1700s? Perhaps even earlier. What era is this? <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, this looks to be like, what? Well, yes, yeah, somewhere in the past. Let's see. Can I grab the. Let me grab the helmet and the sword. Take the grotto plan. <laughs> the grotto plan. <laughs> what is the grotto plan? Where's the grotto? <laughs> oh, there it is. The grotto look. Oh, right. This kind of grotto. Okay. Okay, so we got a grotto plan. Uh, I'd rather have the sword and the, the helmet, but apparently that's not an option. Uh, we can have a look at the old chest. Uh, you could take two items, really, why? Um, move all. <laughs> uh, I also need, like, I guess I need an axe. What do you need more? Pick an axe. Uh, done. Like, what do you bring with you? Your house is on fire. Jump through the window. Okay. Press J to jump through this window. <laughs> or, or we can activate. Yeah. Let's go. Let's activate the window. So. I'm, I'm not sure what happened to the ship. I guess it was attacked or something. Oh, here we go. None of us were ready for it. <laughs> Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed into the ship. The sails were torn apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped from their bunks and tried to save the ship. But it was too late. We didn't have any backup I boats. I came to my senses on the sandy shore. My memories were gone. God. I did not even remember my name. But I was alive and hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. All right. A bit quiet on the volume. Maybe I need to adjust. I'm not sure. Caves and grottos are teeming with scorpions and spiders. Even if I kill them all, they'll come back. Right, so this is supposed to be a realistic survival game. It's uh, by Odinsoft Inc, by the way. Uh, published by Twin Sails Interactive. Mm. All right. Find the survivors. Okay. Cut down a pile of scrap. Cut down? What? Chance of injury. Nine minutes. Okay. Oh, I see. So this is what we're talking about with realism. It takes a little while to work on stuff. Okay. I won't spend too long on stuff then if it's going to take a long time. At least leaves are quick. We could pick up as many leaves. We're trying to find the pictured grotto. Find survivors. So it's a realistic survival game. Uh, first impression is the graphics look okay. Nothing special. They're pretty good. They're not blowing me away by any means. But oh, we got the crabs. We got the crab dancers. They do a little dance for us. Boy, they are fast. I've never seen a crab move that fast. That's not really realistic, but what, what the hey? Um, ooh, coconut. Don't mind if I do take a couple of coconuts for the journey. Blueprints were unlocked. We can cut that down, but it's probably going to take a while. To do an interaction. Select resource to harvest. Okay. Um, so we should probably figure out where we're going. View the document. Okay, so we're looking for a, a, it's highlighted the rock on top. 
it's on the beach by the looks of things and there's two mountains nearby and there's a rock on top so we should be able to spot it maybe uh there's a mountain over there but that oh yeah there's the rock on top look it matches the document okay so it's at the at the foot of the that mountain uh it could be just around here for all we know we keep following the beach around I keep looking for a chest, but there's none to be found. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically interested to see, like, how big is the game. More importantly, can we swim? Weather affects your health. Okay. Exposed to bad weather for a long time, you can get sick. Right, so we can swim, guys. I wonder if you can get stung as well, since it's a realistic survival game. Ooh, stick. And it didn't cost us any time. Okay, we're getting a little bit a little bit tired from all this running. What's that? Is that a bird? Very chill game so far. I imagine the survival elements will... You'll have to keep an eye on them. You're already a little bit fatigued. But I'm determined to find the grotto first. Before we do anything, hopefully. Sunburn. We've already got some, Ben. Nope, can't chop it. So what am I supposed to do with it? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm... <laughs> Let's try... Oh, we got to craft it. Okay, we've got to craft it to open it up. So we can... Eat ah, right. We can actually craft coconut water and coconut. Right, so we know how it works now. we got to craft everything. Let's craft a couple of each. How are we doing? We're kind of low on food, but okay on water. Let's just top that up, shall we? You need that and that. We don't seem to be able to put that on our hot bar. I'd like it on our hot bar, but maybe that's not a thing in this game. Anyway, let's check out the lovely grotto we got here. Ooh, puffball mushroom. Crafting recipes unlocked. Ooh, here's the scorpion cave. Of scorpions. Can we defeat the scorpions? Is it possible? Let's find out. Oh, one shot. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Oh, you're done now. Approach him from behind. That's the that's the strat. That's the strat right from behind. Never knew what hit him. <laughs> What's this? Piece of Jatupa gum. What the was <laughs> Jatupa gum? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we know that scrap is a waste of time. We've got a nice fire here. We can sit on this piece of scrap. Makes a nice seat. Are we over encumbered? Do we have an encumbrance system? We do have an encumbrance system. It's very generous, though. It's given us a weight of 44. That's pretty decent for a survival. And we have this many inventory slots. Okay. So we've got some notes here. Let's read these. Oh, living water. Oh, what's that? I'm leaving this bottle of living water so that the person who finds it can restore their health. If they're, if they're shipwrecked. If they're shipwrecks. Good luck to you, friend. If they're, if they're beef ship, if they're be shipwrecks. I don't know what kind of English that is. Ponce de Leon also survived the shipwreck. <laughs> sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island.
<laughs> uh, this, this, this particular word is very funny. Very, very funny. Found there runes and traces of an ancient civilization. That sounds interesting. Okay. So it's a very narrative story of a guy in the 16th century, by the way. It's the 16th century, not the 17th century. Uh, who got shipwrecked. And this, this is his story. And you're kind of living out his story in a survival situation. It's a pretty good concept. I like this concept. It's a pretty cool idea. And I think I'm getting full. You never know what you're going to need, though. Let's, uh, can we grab that? Unfinished map. Santiago. Isla de Esperanza. Okay. Esperanza. Esperanza? I think it's Esperanza. The Island of Hope. I don't know why he's called it that. Uh, I suppose he uh, survived thanks to the island, maybe. So, gave him hope. But yeah, <laughs> Ponce. Ponce de Leon. <laughs> Ponce being the, uh, the English slang word for, uh, yeah. Someone who likes gentlemen. Uh, I don't wonder if that's a slur, actually. <laughs> Nowadays, maybe that's a slur. Probably is a slur. So, extra spicy. <laughs> but, uh, of course, that's probably a name in... Is it French or Spanish? It's probably Spanish. Ponce, perhaps. It's pronounced. Oh god, the scorpions! Are, the scorpions! Ah! I want to go that way without a light. Reach the location. Reach the location near the bay. Okay, spyglass. We're going after spyglass. We're going. We'll go deeper into this grotto later. Oh, finally, I reached it. I reached the location. So here's the inn. It took me ages actually to walk around. Still haven't found a stone anywhere. Apparently you need a stone to make a pickaxe as well, so I really need to find a stone somewhere. But the the beach is bereft of stone, which is kind of bizarre. Um, but yeah, we can see the inland, um, the inlet. We can see how it comes in there, so we know it's on the edge, roughly about there. So we know it's roughly about here. Find the spyglass. It should be around here somewhere, right? Ah, perhaps it's lit up here? Yes, it is. Very good. So now we can look around the place. View from the mountain. Get to the mountain. Okay. I would, I would really like some stone. Like any kind of stone. I mean, I... I don't have any... It says I don't have any wood either. Like, if we look here, I want to make a pickaxe, right? I want to make a pick so I can get more stones. I need a stone and a long handle. I can make a long handle, I think. Uh, how do I make a long handle? Big branch, half log, long stick. Build a toolkit. Okay. <gasps> How do I make a long handle? Okay, here we go. Common log. Long stick. Now, it's not a long handle, is it? How do we make a long handle? It's like a component. Perhaps it's under other items? What's the long handle? But yeah, it says we need... To make this, we need a long handle. Long handle. And a stone. Now, how we make a long handle, I'm not sure. We can make a machine. Campfire. Yeah, I'm not sure how I make a long handle, guys. <laughs> I can't find it. I guess I'm missing it. something very obvious. It's one of these things where you're looking through the list and you can't see it. Big branch. Yeah, I don't know what a long handle is, but maybe it means a big stick. But yeah, still not finding any stones. But it wants us to have a look from the... Get to the mountain. There has to be a passage up to the mountain somehow. So let's see if we can get to the mountain. Let's see if we can find a stone along the way. Okay, I finally found a way 
to lead up. I got attacked by birds, of all things. Ooh, Song of Great Thirst. You can read the pause and read that if you like. Oh <laughs> god, I'm I'm moving fast because there's a honey badger around here. I don't wanna don't wanna mess with him. But yeah, I found a passage up to the mountains, which is awesome. Climb to the white sign. Isn't that? Ooh, about a stone pile. So if you want stones, just follow the uh, follow the path. Basically, I built a fire, but I didn't have any broad leaves. So that was a that was a pointless endeavor. They they they, they put lots of honey honey badges in here. Okay, I'm almost I'm dead. There we go. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, and they put you back on the beach. Oh, oh, I didn't expect that. Okay, so just so you know, they put you right back on the beach. Yeah, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. But yeah, everything takes a swipe at you, so if you go near any animal, they will bite you. Uh, snakes have a insane range, by the way. They have a, a range of about three or four of their body lengths. Not realistic. Uh, so there's a few things in this game that aren't realistic at all. Um, why they decided to do that, I don't know. They were like going with the realism kick and then they, they messed it up. Uh, I'm not sure. It's, it's weird. It's weird that birds attack you as often as they do. Everything attacks you way too often. I guess they're trying to up the difficulty, but it doesn't feel real. Not realistic. So, uh, just points deducted for non-realism. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, your game is not that realistic. <laughs> it's like good that it's punishing. I like that. But yeah, I don't like getting attacked every five minutes by the wildlife. That feels a bit dumb to be honest and the way that they put it purposefully in your path uh have them moving around a bit maybe but yeah interesting so anyway i'm gonna go look for some broadleaf plants because that my i was like constantly not able to do stuff because i don't have any broadleaf plants um these are all palm trees so where are you supposed to find broadleaf plants i'm not sure is this a broadleaf plant? I don't know. What's this? <clears throat> yeah, so you can only get wood from that. Um, yeah, that's another thing. You need you need broadleaf for lots of things, right? And it's like you go to a tree that you think might be broadleaf, but you can't find any. Um, hopefully they'll fix that at some point, so we can have some. Uh, easier access to here we go okay maybe tobacco will give us broad leaf no it gives us tobacco leaves of course yeah i just like searching around for a while looking for broad leaf plants okay that gives us wide leaf i guess that's, I guess that's what i want you've been attacked by a pest ah get it off jesus I suppose that's that's pretty realistic. You might get a creepy crawly on you. But yeah, I tried to um tried to make a fire and stuff. But it was uh, got a broadleaf plant I didn't have. I was trying to make an anti venom because I got stung. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. It's pr crafting's pretty simple. Um. I, I put down a fire and stuff. You can put down buildings and what have you. This would be a lot easier if you weren't trying to rush to the objectives like I was. I was trying to rush there, so of course I got beat up along the way. Um, I, I think there might be a spoiler on top of the mountain as well, so I'm kind of glad I didn't make it. Because um, otherwise... Okay, so you get broadly from these particular plants. And you need broadleaf if you want to make an antidote, so make sure you take time to get those. And uh, don't, as long as you don't go, as long as you don't, you know, get too close to honey badger. Honey badgers are just fine. I think it's just the snakes and their hidden stuff that might make your day a bit more difficult. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it off here. Um, I would give this game a solid, probably about a 6 out of 10. Uh, it was enjoyable. Uh, there's just a few things that need ironing out. I think I just need to tweak a few things. 
uh, especially with the realism of the wildlife. And then I think it'll be just great. It'll be a really good game. Uh, I'm also excited to see what they're going to add next. Um, I got to say, I'm not sure if I'm into like this style of crafting survival game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't put my finger on what it, on what it is exactly. I think it's the, you know, the combination of things like constant honey badges, too much prevalence of wildlife. Um, you, you really feel like you're being attacked by the environment. Um, you know, which you could argue is a classic survival situation. Of course you are, but it doesn't happen that often though in, in real life. So if you're going for reality or realism, then make it real. That's all I'm saying. You wouldn't really come across animals that often at all. They'd be trying to run away from you. That's realistic, right? Um, some will stand their ground, but not many. Not, not, not every time either. So, you know, there's a limit to the uh, to the realism aspect. But I do appreciate that they're trying to make it so the environment is hostile, and that you're you're very much challenged all the time. But yeah, this would be a lot easier if you make a base and stuff. Uh, and it's that's quite limited right now what you can make, but I'm sure they'll flush that out as time goes on. Uh, yeah, so yeah, do check it out if you like uh, more punishing survival games that are, you know, there's constantly a honey badger around every corner, and then this is the game for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed my flailing around trying to do the quest objectives. And uh, I didn't do any building because, you know, if you're interested in these kind of games, you already built a million shacks and a million boats and the carpentry workbenches and all that stuff. I've shown you what the game has to offer. Um, you know what they look like. Um, I've played all the, I've played Raft, I've played, uh, you know, all the other survival games where you're on desert islands and stuff. You all know what stuff looks like, pretty much. Uh, the, the native aspect of the, uh, you know, the, I don't know what kind of civilization, some sort of Polynesian civilization is very cool. I, I like to see that. And uh, if I had more time, I would read into the lore and kind of get lost in that and immersed in that. So I'd probably have a, a better time if I wasn't having to move on. Uh, looks like there's some birds over there. So there's a readily uh, supply of food, at least in this game. Food and drink doesn't seem to be too hard to get. It's not too hard to stay alive. The hardest part is avoiding the wildlife more than anything. Um, that that's the challenge to your survival, basically, is the dangerous wildlife. Um, yeah, so let me know down below if you'd be picking up this game, guys. And, uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me cover. And, uh, yeah, please leave me a like and a subscribe if you like the video. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Till next time.